scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. That this is the year of open doors and I did teach you that there are three biblical ways we open doors. Number one is through the use of the right key. You remember that? That when you apply the right key, you can turn a door open. Number two, by knocking. You can knock a door and the person at the other side of the door can open for you. But number three, that doors can be opened by the use of force. You can use force and this one does not just open, it breaks the door. Because when you open a door after you, it can close and your children may not be able to pass. When that door is broken, everybody after you can pass. Did the Bible not say at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang and the Bible says the prisoners heard them. It says suddenly there was an earthquake. This was not a key. This was not knocking. There was an earthquake. It shook the doors and all doors opened. Someone open your mouth and declare all doors, all doors, all doors. Financial doors, marital doors, career doors, ministry doors. Are you praying? All doors open. All doors open. All doors open. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. All doors. Higher levels of ministry. All doors. Hallelujah. 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 Do you believe what you just prayed? That gentleman there lifting up your shoes. Come. You are a footballer. Huh? Where? In this Abuja. You believe in what you are doing? Yes, sir. Do you believe there is a grace? Yes, sir. I'm seeing you go to Europe. Amen. Is that your passport you're holding? Yes, sir. Your passport? Yes, sir. You came with your passport? Yes, sir. My friend, do you believe this? Yes, sir. Learn your skill to play. But my dear one, let me tell you, the hand of God can come upon men Amen. and pick ordinary men. Amen. That you believe this and you have come. Yes. Let me pray for you. When I, I saw it, I, I was just stirred in my heart. Remember Amen. what God says to one, he says to all. It's not, this is not, hallelujah. It doesn't mean that if God does not, it, I don't have to call you, we'll spend the night doing that. Yours is for you to believe. Where are you from? Enugu State, Osoka. There is somebody that God is going to connect you to. Amen. He belongs to a football club called Eimba. 
Yes. I don't know any much about football or whatever it is, but you just believe from there, God is going to open you up. Amen. And you, will be, you will be surprised. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have granted us grace to lift men. Who is Silas? Silas. Silas. I'm hearing the name Silas. We may not have. I really want to pray to minister to the sick. Silas, where are you? Your story is about to change. Oh, you're a worker here. Silas. Your name is Silas? What do you do? I'm an architect. What do you do? I, I'm working on, uh, in the poultry farm. Okay, let me pray for you. He said, thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side. Father, I stretch my hands over Silas. Mariam, I'm hearing the name Mariam. Mariam, Mariam. Who is Mariam? Please make sure we don't just jump out. If you are not the one, even if it's your sister, just stand where you are and receive. Once you are not the person, your name is Mariam. Where are you traveling to? Sir, huh? Canada. You are going to Canada. Yes, sir. When? We're processing it. My husband is there already. Did you tell me? No, How sir. do I look at you and know you are going to Canada? My dear, look at me. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing something stopping you and I don't mean to embarrass you, well, but we have to pray so that they don't bring a report from the hospital that will stop you from going. It is God that lifts men and it is God that helps men. Hallelujah. Where are you from, my dear, this lady? From Imo State, ma, sir. I want to pray for you. Thank you, sir. In the name of Jesus, Mariam. There are two people here. I'm hearing the cry of children, like children, babies. I'm hearing, I'm not saying you should come out, but I'm going to pray. I know I will have the time to speak, but I'm hearing the cry of children. And the Lord is telling me to release someone's child prophetically in the name of Jesus. I don't know who that person is, but this moment, as you are connected by faith in the name of Jesus, Saposh Kali Karo Sadinaka. Let it be unto you according to the word of the Lord. Let it be unto you according to the word of the Lord. Let it be unto you according to the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you, Mariam, you have come here in the name of Jesus. My dear, the one whose husband is in Canada, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, let the right of way be given to you. Right now, I release grace upon you. Find favor favor with the embassy in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing the lord is saying i should tell somebody weep not weep not the book is open weep not the book is open you have cried and cried and cried this is not just prophetic this is physical tears weep not the book is open in the name of jesus i'm declaring by the spirit Rako Shalikaba. I'm talking to one of you in front here. Weep not. The book is open. Weep not. The book is open. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare because the book is open, let crying and mourning come to an end now. Let crying and mourning come to an end now. In the name of Jesus. My footballer friend, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May God grant you grace that one day you will come and stand here and testify before the people of God. In Jesus' name I pray. And architect grace for you, I decree and declare, may God open doors that will surprise you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now there's someone I usually would not, God bless you, I would not do this, but God is insisting. You have a court case. I don't just mean a serious court case. I don't know who that is. God is just asking me to announce that you have a court case. This is a serious issue and the Lord wants to show you mercy here. Who is that person? Come. You are wearing white. A court case. Is there someone like that? You have a court case. I want to pray for you. If God brought you out, it's because he wants to change your story.
Please, if God calls your case, would you just double up so that we'll hurry up and pray to help us to attend to others too? Who is Adamo? Adamo. Ah, God. Oh. What's your name? Where are you coming from? Your I will pray for you. What is your name? Dominion, sir. Huh? Dominion. Sir, can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Don't be embarrassed. Huh? You yes. are in trouble. This trouble that I see you in, if God does not help you, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you behind bars. Yes, sir. I need to pray for you. You understand what I'm saying? I do, I sir. don't mean to embarrass you. I do, But sir. what you need is to pray for the mercy of God. Yes, sir. Because justice, the assignment of justice is to have his cause. But yes, now sir. we are standing to pray for mercy. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, so I, I will not say more than that. But God is going to, we are sir, going to pray. Sir, I'm being summoned by a shrine. I'm supposed to die next tomorrow. My friend, don't worry. Just, you didn't have to. Don't worry. When you see me conceal certain things, don't worry. My own is to pray for you, okay? <laughs> Hello, Madonna. and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus because the Lord brought you here tonight let tonight for some of you be a night of mercy let tonight be a night of mercy let tonight be a night of mercy in the name of Jesus Christ hear me there are three of you here. The kind of money you are owing now, there is nobody on his own who will give you that money. You have missed the deadline by at least four months. You are in trouble right now. You need the mercy of God. The thing is not about begging the bank to give you another loan. There is a spirit behind this. No matter, see, look, I'm not against loan. Listen to me now, so don't misunderstand me. But you collect loan with the waster. There is a spirit called the waster. As you are collecting it, something will happen and you will keep going down until you are left with nothing. How do you think the wife of the sons of the prophet was so in debt that they were about to carry the children? It's good to do business. You can collect loan. There are many bankers here. But receive this grace first. Then whatever you have can now profit you. The prophet had to speak first. He said, go and borrow. So borrowing is not wrong. But borrow when you receive prophecy first. Personally, you know, but I respect whatever it is, but make sure that there are no spirits standing behind to just waste your resources. How many of you have tried to pour water in a basket? You pour water, will it ever get filled? No. You can stand there for 38 years trying to fill a basket. The first thing is to mend, to take away that basket and have a correct container. And in five minutes, your container will be filled. It's not that you are wrongly positioned. It's that what you are holding is not what the water can feel. Let me pray for you. You will watch the wonder-working power of the prophetic. I know the lion. I know the lamb. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lamb. I call the lion, I call the lamb, I call the lion, I call the lamb. In the name of Jesus, I declare supernatural help for you now. For those who have been appointed unto death, I call on the God of my covenant. May he show mercy. May he show mercy. May he show mercy. May he show mercy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the helpers that must arise and help you to take away shame and embarrassment. And hear me, for anyone here who is being oppressed because you do not have someone to help you, I pray let Ebenezer arise now. 
I'm not just praying for those in front. I'm praying for someone who is scattered. Anywhere you have been oppressed, I call on Ebenezer to arise for you now. Arise for you now. Arise for you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare, the same way you came out here, you will come and stand to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. God bless you. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How many of you are in business, serious, active business, and genuine, non-destructive business? Listen to my descriptions. I will never, never pray for anything that destroys genuine, scriptural business. Lift your hands, and you are serious. I just sensed an anointing, and I started seeing, you know how a printing, uh, this thing they use in the bank that prints money, what they call that thing? The counting machine. I just saw it now. And I know that there is a grace. I want to pray. Now, I know that there are people who think that, um, look, there is a prophetic dimension to wealth. Oh, believe it. I want to pray that prayer. There are two of you right now. There is a strong anointing. The business you are doing now is not what you will be doing to prosper. Two of you. An anointing is coming on you right now as I'm speaking. Ta -da 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 -da. I want to pray for you. Please believe this prayer and you will marvel and wonder at what the power of God is able to do. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, even as you have opened my eyes to see, I don't know whose hands these resources have must enter, but in the name of Jesus, in the name of he who died and rose from the dead, even the one who helps men, I release these resources to your hands now. I release these resources to your hands now. Speedily so. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When Elisha prophesied and said, by this time tomorrow, there was a man who looked and said, forget it. Even if God will open the windows of heaven, might these things be? And Elisha looked at him and said, because you have insulted God, you have insulted the prophetic, your eyes will see it so that you will know God is just, but you will not eat of it. And they trampled that man at the gate of breakthrough. One step for him to enter, he died because of unbelief. Let me pray for someone again who was too afraid to receive the first time. Perhaps because you think the amount you need is much. I'm talking of God who is Ebenezer, the stone of help. I decree and declare one more time, may these resources enter your hand. May these resources enter your hands. Hallelujah. On one hand, someone has never experienced as in the manner of women and on the other hand someone is bleeding and bleeding her health and her life almost going out there's a healing coming for someone right now this issue of this severe bleeding this thing has come with sometimes you stand and you start feeling dizzy because of the kind of problem that you have i'm going to pray for you because there is a miracle that is about this person I'm talking about. You don't need to come out. You are in the overflow outside. The overflow outside. There's a miracle that is about to happen to you now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, your left ear. Your left ear. You don't hear with it. Totally, I don't know whether you are here or you are you are following online, but I want to pray for you now. I began to hear a sound on my left ear, and the Lord said I should pray. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I pray for that person right now. 
may your ears be opened may your ears be opened may your ears be opened and for that lady I declare that this demonic hemorrhage this bleeding it comes to an end now it comes to an end now in the name of Jesus Christ I just saw light where the international guests are seated. I just saw light. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Please bring that person out when it happens. I just saw light. I don't know who is that person, but you came with hunger and you came with desperation. Bring the person out. Bring them. Please be patient. You are not wasting your time. I want to pray for you. Whose mother is in the hospital? I'm seeing someone's mother on a bed right now in a vision. As I'm looking, there's someone's mother on a bed in the hospital. Careful so that you don't... Where is she coming from? I'm seeing South Africa written on her. I don't know where this woman is coming from. Leave, leave her when she's ready. I'm seeing South Africa. I don't know whether it's her or whether it's someone else but, but I'm seeing South Africa and the Lord is asking me that she came to receive an anointing this woman okay when when she's done but there is a spirit this woman needs to be delivered from a wicked spirit that has tied her life down let me stretch my hands and get that devil out of her first in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I command that devil in the name of Jesus, by the decree of the watchers, you live now, never to return again. In the name of Jesus, that which has tied down her life, tied down the prophecy over your head, out of her now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray. Fire is about to fall. The Lord is asking me to count four. And as I count four, I'm seeing something that look like, um, you know, coals of fire. It's a mighty deliverance that is happening for people right now. And the Lord is opening my eyes again. I'm seeing people's right, their right feet, just the right feet, tied to chains, and then it's hooked to a wall. They can move, but not beyond a certain circle. It's not like you, you are moving, but once you get there, it brings you down. I don't know who those people are, but I count four and you shout Jesus. One, my God. Two, three, four, shout Jesus. I break those chains now. Bring them out. Bring them out very quickly. I break up a God secretary. I break those, help them please. I break those chains now. I break those chains now. Please bring them out very quickly, very quickly. In the name of Jesus, I'm still praying. Your right leg is not complete delay, but you move and you are in cycles. I want to break you free from that demonic thing. Please, very quickly, whether you are an usher or not, help to bring them out. Let's save time. I'm praying again. At the count of three, shout the name Jesus. And that fire comes upon you and that demonic embargo must leave you. Are you ready? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I break you free. I break you free. He who the sun sets free is free indeed. Free indeed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Free indeed in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Free indeed by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please bring them out quickly so I can pray for them. My dear, where is, where is she come? I've been asking that question. Where are you from? South Africa. You're from where? South Africa. South Africa. Father, listen. I hope you're not embarrassed that I'm praying for you. Listen, my dear, your life will change in a way that will surprise you. You hear me? Because I'm praying for you, but there is something the devil has put in your stomach. And I want to pray for you. The Lord wants to bring you deliverance. I stretch my hands towards you. And in the name of Jesus, every planting that is not of God, 
right now I decree and declare let that planting leave you now let that planting leave you now let that planting leave you now hallelujah let that planting leave you now now there are families here that have been under listen carefully listen carefully there are families here that never rise beyond a certain level it's like an embargo has been placed no matter even some of them as i'm speaking they are abroad but it's the same thing they were facing in nigeria here that they are still facing there because it's not just about the location it's the grace that follows you the lord is asking me to release you from it in the name of jesus i'm praying right now every family that has been held down by witchcraft held down by satanic things right now i stretch my hands at the count of three let that fire rest upon you and let deliverance come receive it now one two three in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ Sir, please can I pray for you? This, this man, no, this man, um, yes, come. I don't know you, I hope you are not embarrassed. I want to pray for you. Yes, I will pray for you, but this, this is the man I'm talking about, yes. I want to pray for you. Two things, sir, please don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down, up and down. And when I see a thermometer like that, it usually is something that has to do with BP. I will pray for you. And then number two, I'm seeing you stand before a door. You are shaking the door, but it's refusing to open. You are shaking it and it's refusing to open. And the Lord is saying, he that has the key of David, that can open a door that no man can shut. I want to pray. Can I pray for you, sir? I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. Everything wrong with your health and your blood pressure, I declare it comes down supernaturally right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And then number two, that door that has refused to open by the God of heaven, the holder of the key of David, may that door be opened now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sir, please, what do you do? I'm a Inabalo, sir. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing you climb a ladder. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. And every time I see climbing a ladder, this is increased promotion. And the Lord is saying I should speak over your life. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ that you are here. But I'm seeing favor coming from Lagos. I don't know what that means. I stretch my hands. Let that grace come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. For all of you in front, I curse every foul spirit. Every spirit that has tied your lives, your destinies, your families, in Jesus' name, be released now. In the mighty name of Jesus, be released now. The Lord showed me this vision. I'm still seeing it again. Someone's mother in a hospital. I'm seeing that vision repeated. If you're connecting online, no problem. You can release your faith. Mother in a hospital. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I pray. Okay, those who I can pray, but then I'm extending that prayer to everyone. Your mother is in the hospital. Right now, I decree and declare. Father, let the spirit of death, the manifestation of death, hell, and the grave, in the name of Jesus, we release your mothers wherever they are. We bring them healing. We bring them life. Healing life healing life healing life healing life hallelujah now i'm not a prophet of doom i will only speak as god leads me but i want to pray for someone here you're not going to come out i will just pray for you you see it's good to be wise and it's good as christians we need to be wise I'm seeing a lady who met this man and in the name of love and relationship 
you know, whatever is happening. Then I'm turning and I'm seeing this man making a chant, calling the name of that person in the house of a, like a habalis, a shrine, as a sacrifice so that the person dies. So this what is supposed to look like a relationship is something that somebody will just hear that the person died and the man will say, I don't know what happened. Whereas this is evil. I'm careful to say this thing so that it doesn't look like you are promoting the devil. But sometimes God allows you to say it to let you know that wickedness is real. In the name of Jesus, anyone who laughs with you in the open, but then in the secret they are conspiring for your destruction. I call upon my God, who is also your God. I break you free from that demonic embargo. I break you free from that demonic embargo. And for this lady in question, in the name of Jesus, whatever has been done to kill you, whether by accident or whether by whatever it is, let the blood speak now. Let the blood speak now. Let the blood speak now. I want to call an uncomfortable situation, but I'm praying, I'm praying that you have the courage to receive deliverance you are not a bad person but I need to pray for you there is a spirit when it comes upon you you cannot rest till you steal you are not you are, I will not call you a thief but this is something you have tried you have cried this thing and asked God to help you I want to pray for that person please sit for a moment come whoever that person is I'm not calling you to embarrass you don't sit back there I will continue and move forward but then I want to pray for that person. I don't know who that person is, whether you are inside, you are outside. Make your way to the front. Don't be afraid. Come, let's celebrate them as they come. It takes a lot of courage. Don't be afraid. My dear, come and stand. Don't be afraid, huh? Don't sit back if you know that you should be here and to be delivered once and for all. There's nothing to be embarrassed. We're a family of faith. The Bible says, let him that thinks he stand, take heed lest he fall. So there's no laughing at anybody here. This is God bringing deliverance. Some of these people can be more innocent than many of us here. It's a spirit. There are a few people, you are not in this auditorium. Please come and join them very quickly. I want to pray before I pray for the sick. Once it comes upon you, you cannot rest until you find something to pick. It is a trap by the enemy, you see. Sometimes the devil brings people under some of these influences to destroy them. If there's somebody to stand here, run, run. If you're coming, please run and come and stand. Let's celebrate them as they come. Come. Listen, my dear people, there is nothing to be embarrassed about. I want you to know that this is a family that loves you. Nobody is calling you out here to embarrass you, no. You have come out before Jesus himself and I can assure you that your deliverance comes to an end. Your, the, the oppression comes to an end. In Jesus name. Place your hand on your chest and let me pray for you. Father, the Bible says for this purpose was the son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works of the wicked. These people are sincere, I believe. This is a spirit a wicked devil that wants to destroy their destinies. Therefore, I command the spirit and the influence that makes you to not rest till you steal. I command right now, be delivered from it this moment. Release them never to return to them again. In the name of Jesus, that urge to pick things, to steal things in the name of Jesus. And you know, stealing goes hand in glove with lying. Once you steal, you most likely will tell lies too. In the name of Jesus, I declare, be delivered right now. You will find out as you return that you will never, never have that urge to pick anything again. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. You are coming up. Listen, you are to come here. You are strolling and I've finished praying now. When you be serious in the house of God, come. I will pray for you. Hmm? Once we mention your case, we don't mean to embarrass you, but you... You, you come and receive to shame the devil once and for all. God bless you, eh, my sister. Thank you for your courage. My friend, are you coming here too? Run and come and stand. If you, we are not saying you're a thief. If you have a problem with it, we'll deal with it. Please come. We hail you. We worship you. We hail you. Most 
I'm going to pray for you. You are just two years, but you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Usually, I would just do it when I'm doing a general prayer. But I'm saying this because of a peculiar situation that is currently happening in your marriage now. That if God does not arrest the situation, it can scatter that marriage. Two years, you've not had a child. Who is that person? Come. God wants to end that situation. Come. My glory, you lift my head. Husband and wife. But thou, O oh Lord, are the shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Husband and wife too. Two years. Come. How many of you know that God is changing lives tonight? Hallelujah. Okay, this one still to pray. My little one, what's your name? Look at this beautiful girl. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica. Look yes, at me, darling. The devil is a liar, eh? I'm yes, going to sir. pray for you and you will never steal anything again. Yes, sir. You are a nice lady. You will become a very, very great lady. Yes, sir. This ones are you have you are coming out for the case I mentioned two years okay up ah you too two years okay let me pray for this my people father in Jesus name just praying for this ones first that spirit of stealing in the name of Jesus I declare you have come to open up yourself before the Lord may He show you mercy Amen. that wicked satanic demonic influence is over right now. Amen. In Jesus' name. The ones who came out here with my little daughter there, you can go back to your seat. Let's celebrate them. Then these ones, appreciate them as they go. Two years. The Lord is asking me to pray. I know there are people with more, but because of a peculiar situation I'm seeing within the family, I want to pray. My dear, look at me. This lady, shout Jesus. Jesus! Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Husband and wife? He's not here. He, okay. went, he went to the hospital. His elder brother is in the sick bed in Adgar Key Hospital, sir. We are supposed to be here together, but he's there. Mm. You believe that Jesus Christ will do a miracle for you? Yes, sir. I stretch my hands. I'm already even seeing an anointing upon Amen. you. Father, show Amen. mercy. Let this satanic thing leave this woman right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, all of you, help her, please. The Lord brought you out here to show you mercy. Hallelujah. And I want you, I hope everybody here, I'm seeing those outside in the overflows. Don't worry, stand by faith all down to the basement outside. I'm about to pray for you. You don't have to come here directly. Just stand there. If you are husband and wife, you stand near one another. I want to pray for you. If your spouse is not here, you can stand by faith. Hallelujah. You've heard the testimony of the lady here you've heard many many testimonies listen to me listen to me there is absolutely nothing that god cannot do yes father i stretch ah. okay let's pray let me first let me first i just saw something that looked like a dark shadow just hovering around like two of you and I want to pray right now. I command this satanic influence right now. I declare in the name of Jesus, release them now. Release them now. That appears to you in the dream like a man, another husband, trying to molest you in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of deep. Say, the resurrected King is resurrecting me. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrecting me. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now, according to the time of life, I decree and I declare 
by the God who has sent and anointed me regardless what the situation is in the name of Jesus return with your miracle children in the name of Jesus whatever needs to leave your stomach to give space for your baby we command that it leaves now in the name of Jesus and for one of you the trouble you are having with your family members this is one of the reasons why I believe God acts here because I'm seeing a conversation happening and they are saying if by September we don't hear anything let's look for another person this is why God acts that we should deal with that situation because there are I don't encourage that we are believers but in the name of Jesus I decree and declare as I'm praying for them I'm praying for someone quarter to shame may God arise and vindicate you quarter to shame may my God arise and give you a testimony in the name of Jesus I declare return with your miracle children in Jesus much less name we pray amen and amen God bless you please return back to your seat I want to pray for the sick. I'm seeing... I want to pray, but I'm seeing that the Lord is asking me to pray for people with high blood pressure. High blood pressure. Stand. You know it. You, you high, any trace of BP. Please, I want to pray. Lay your hands there. Just believe. Believe. Rest. We have a lot of doctors here, but now you believe. I'm speaking to you by faith. Lay your hands there. I want to pray for you. You're outside, you're inside, across the globe, following. Lay your hands. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. High blood pressure. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, when you reveal it is for redemption, I stretch my hands over everyone here across the overflows and following from across the nations of the earth suffering from high blood pressure in the name of Jesus I decree and declare supernaturally may your blood pressure go down to normal now may your blood pressure go down to normal now may your blood pressure go down to normal now in the name of Jesus Christ now everyone who is trusting God for healing let's all rise I want to pray for the sick now Please, let's all rise if you can. The healing ministry of Jesus is real. He heals. And when he comes, he can set free. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the Bible declares, with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about healing all, not some, all. They that were oppressed of the devil. Sickness is an oppression of the devil. I want you to lay your hands right now. You've heard several testimonies. Lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle. Please go ahead. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lay your hands. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Lay your hands. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, wherever you are, under the sound of my voice, on ground, online, the spirit that is back of that sickness back of that infirmity in the name of Jesus I command that you be separated from that spirit now shout a loud amen shout a loud amen again and I declare right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead and in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed now be healed now be healed now every blood condition be healed now HIV be healed now all kinds of blood conditions be healed now genotype issues be corrected now 
heart conditions be healed now. Bone conditions. You're having a problem with any part of your joints, your bones, be healed now. You have a problem hearing, let your ears be open now. I command your eyes to begin to see now. In the name of Jesus, every organ that has failed or is failing, I declare brand new organs to your body now. Brand new organs to your body now. Brand new organs to your body now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing in my spirit blocked fallopian tubes. In the name of Jesus, let it be open now. Whoever that is for, let it be open now. In the name of Jesus. There is someone you have a problem, your heart is getting enlarged. You are not even aware. You just know that there's severe pain and you get tired. I would advise you to see a doctor, but I want to pray for you now. In the name of Jesus, that enlarged heart, I command it to come to normal. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are not young, but you are beginning to see signs of unease that can be traceable to autism. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, be healed right now. And speaking about autism, I pray if there's anyone here who has a child or connecting across the globe with any autistic child, autistic patient, in the name of Jesus, we restore normalcy to their minds. We restore normalcy in the name of Jesus. Huh. The Lord is asking me to pray for a woman. You have children, but your prayer has been that God will give you a man child, a boy. And while that may be silly for others, there is a serious implication to that prayer and you are praying it sincerely from your heart. The Lord is saying I should stand like Eli stood to speak to Hannah that in the name of Jesus Christ, may your next pregnancy be a boy as you have desired. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Someone you are having severe problems with your kidneys. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of God touch you right now. Supernaturally. You can walk, but you have excruciating pain, especially around your left side. In the name of Jesus, Jesus is healing you right now. Supernaturally in Jesus name. Now I'm seeing a woman in my vision. You sleep, but if you sleep for just an hour or two, when you wake up, you are not able to sleep again. No matter what happens, you are not able to sleep. I pray for that person. My Bible says he giveth his beloved sleep. Therefore, I decree and declare, find sleep now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, whether I've mentioned your case or not, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, be healed now. In fact, I'm seeing someone you are suffering from pneumonia. Pneumonia. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed right now. And there's someone you have a very serious, it, this is an infection. This is something that you have tried to treat it again and again and it has refused to go. It's something that is very embarrassing. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, that shame and that reproach, let it leave now once and for all. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it leave you once and for all. Let it leave you once and for all. Amen. Peptic ulcer, the Lord heals you now. Amen. Peptic ulcer, the Lord heals you now. Amen. There is someone, this thing happened towards the end of last year into this year. Your vision has started getting blurry. At first you started seeing like objects floating. This is what I'm seeing. And right now it looks like your right eye vision there is diminishing quite seriously. I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I declare 20 your vision comes back to normalcy right now. Amen. 
I'm seeing a gentleman. I've prayed for a few people with that situation. All your teeth, your, your entire um, teeth is getting soft and it's almost like it's getting maybe some cavity problem that is affecting everything if i don't pray for you to almost be as if you're an old person because your teeth will keep pulling out with what i'm seeing in the name of jesus i don't know where that person is but by the power that raised christ from the dead this embarrassment let it come to an end now let it come to an end now there's someone you have severe heart palpitations especially when you lie down or when you walk any strenuous walk you start breathing like someone who is walking out and this thing is affecting you you are not someone who is on the weighty side it's just some oppression in the name of jesus your entire respiratory system is sanitized now <laughs> sanitized now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus hence you have come here be completely healed be completely healed be completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit now very quickly I want us to take two or three minutes to pray while um, I get your prayer request here so everyone how many of you are here to write your requests sit down for a moment and let me give you a minute or two please finish up your request and then pass it to the person the whoever it is by the last aisle, whether left or right, ushers, please, let's do this very quickly. If you are done with your prayer request, just pass it to the ushers and begin to pray in the spirit as you open up your heart. I'll give you a few prayer points. And then when you pray, I want to lay my hands on your prayer request. Is someone praying in the spirit? You can pray in the spirit while you're writing. Go ahead. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Kalibo Satevrahaskedebadash. Grande gadaso tekele kosiata. If there are no ushers close to you, just wave it. They will see it, and then ushers, please identify them. Let's have someone here. By the way, you can also write quickly for someone, your a loved one you are trusting. Go ahead, and those who are online, sending your requests. And in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, we are going to be praying right now, trusting the Lord. The Bible says, unto he that answers prayer shall all flesh come. As you are submitting it, believe by faith that this that you are writing, you heard the testimony of the gentleman, that every single thing, every single thing, it is very possible that every single thing can be solved. According to Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1. Genesis 24 and verse 1 and Abraham was old and well stricken in age and the Bible says the Lord had blessed him in all things not some things in all things someone is praying in the spirit you are crying out and you are saying Lord in this season and in this special miracle service I'm trusting you that every single thing I have written every single desire you are praying now Mark eleven twenty four, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, What things soever ye desire. He says, When ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and thou shalt have them. When we have the prayer request, please quickly, let's begin to bring them so that we can pray. I want to take some time and seriously pray on these requests. I love to pray on the requests because it's the most accurate representation of your desires. There's a lady waving her hands there. There are people waving their hands. Ushers, please identify them. All the overflows down to the basement outside. Let's be sure that um, we get it as, as fast as possible. Give me a testimony. Someone is praying. Give me a testimony. Proof that I encountered your grace proof that I encountered your power give me a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ give me a testimony give me a testimony I'm seeing the kind of fire that you see on a candle I'm seeing it come on four people while you are praying right now four people and the Lord is saying he's igniting the next dimension of your life and ministry. Four people. Four people. This is what I see in my visions. I release it. 
I release it, that fire, in the name of Jesus. I release it by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I open you up by this fire to a new dimension. A new dimension, a new experience in the spirit. My God, a new experience. Neither do men light a lamp. Ah, there will not be silence in your life again. It's time to begin to make news for the kingdom. That unction that is coming upon you from heaven. Empowering you by the spirit of the living God. A new chapter in your life. A new chapter in ministry. A new chapter in your endeavors. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The grace of God speaking fully. Speaking fully. You are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Wherever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. I will trust in you. I want you to write it in two weeks a supernatural job is coming I saw it in the spirit write it down I speak to you by the God who has sent me eight people the Lord showed me in I'm not saying one month I'm not saying three weeks in two weeks let me say it again in the name of Jesus Christ it will surprise you how God will do it Listen, despise not prophesying. The word of God is powerful. Let me say it again. There are eight people the Lord showed me in two weeks. In the name of Jesus, my God will give you a job that will surprise you. For some of you, you, you will be one of you. You will be the first out of five people who is going to have that job. You are five. I'm seeing you will be the first out of five people that all graduates all doing well but it looks like a job the only person I think one of you works maybe with one telecommunications company and that was it but my God is giving you a job that will surprise you <laughs> hallelujah you believe that There's someone here, the Lord is speaking to me that he's going to connect you to the governor of your state. Yeah. Hear what I'm telling you. There is a vacancy for you. God himself is going to put... Don't think I'm just speaking. No, believe it. I'm saying it again, that the Lord is connecting you to the governor of your state. king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the king sent for Joseph I'm saying this because I'm seeing destiny about to happen for someone that listen listen before you say amen that somebody you did not expect listen just believe me the person is not going to send for you by somebody else he will get your number by himself and you are going to see a call Mark my words and mark what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but I prophesy, let it be so for you. By this divine connection, may destiny happen for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
please help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone you're watching me from the United Kingdom right now you're watching me from the United Kingdom God is shifting you from UK to US this is where I see that your destiny is listen you're watching me from the United Kingdom husband and wife two of you are watching me as I'm speaking to you now the Lord is telling me that he's relocating you from US from UK to US because he wants to connect you to destiny Joseph had to leave his father's house to go to Egypt because that was the place of destiny in the name of Jesus may God make that happen for you and let me use that opportunity and speak listen I wrote about five scriptures here be patient with me tonight when I pray on this I'm going to read those scriptures and speak them into your life they all came in the place of prayer it's not something that I just sat down and invented they were words that God gave me to speak the blessing upon you hallelujah but let me pray for someone if you are in the wrong location I stand by God and I pray hear me believe this this is a very serious prayer you can be diligent in the wrong place and never receive a harvest I'm saying it again if you are in the wrong location by the power that raised Christ from the dead I relocate you to the place of destiny 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 in the name of Jesus Christ if you are abroad and your destiny is in Nigeria I bring you back in Jesus name if you are here and your destiny is in another nation I don't care how you will get there by God and once it is scriptural may my God push you there spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat the resurrected King is resurrecting me in your name I come alive to declare your victory the resurrected King is resurrecting me hallelujah I want you by faith whether you are sitting or standing, stretch your hands towards this request. And I want you to begin to make faith declarations. These are not rituals, ladies and gentlemen. There is power being invested here as we pray. Go ahead. As I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, lifting up this prayer request. Not because you cannot approach God directly, but he has granted grace. He said, brethren, pray for us. Men can be prayed for. People can stand based on their covenant with God and they can agree as touching important matters in your life. Someone begin to make declarations. Lord, I have brought this prayer request as proof of my faith. Is someone praying now? I'm going to go on my knees as I pray on this for you and I want you to believe in the next one minute. Everyone is praying in the name of Jesus Christ. Shako Saparis Kateleka Parusa Tiata. Embra teke parakato shata brakati balakosiata. In your name I come alive to declare your victory. The resurrected King is resurrected. By your spirit I will rise from the ashes of defeat. The resurrected King.
Rolanda Kosia. Now hear me. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare that every request that has been here written as an act of your faith, in the name of Jesus, the resurrected King, I declare, let it return to you as testimonies. Let it return to you as testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it return to you as testimonies. Everyone here appointed unto death in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, by reason of this prayer, we avert death from your life. We avert death from your family in the name of Jesus. And prophetically, I stand upon this request and I declare in the name of Jesus, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand on your feet and be ready to shout a believing amen. The blessing is conferred upon people by saying. The Bible says, and he blessed them and said. Listen, I've told you that the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit. It comes upon your life alongside every kind of spiritual impartation. They answer to words and they answer to faith. Words mixed with faith. Hallelujah. A few scriptures and I will speak over your life. Please, I want you to receive it. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. Media, let's walk together very quickly. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land. It says, for the Lord again will rejoice over thee for good. In the name of Jesus. Therefore I prophesy, let plenty locate you. Ah, someone is receiving, let plenty locate you. In this season I drive scarcity from you. Let the covenant of plenty find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy 7.15, 7.15, Deuteronomy 7.15. The Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee and will lay them upon them that hate thee. Therefore I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for you and for your loved ones I declare be free from sickness and infirmity. Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn therefore I decree and declare no matter how that weapon comes in the name of Jesus it will not find expression in your life Isaiah 58 11 58 11 Isaiah it says the Lord shall guide thee continually is someone shouting aloud amen. amen every confusion every misdirection in your life going to the wrong places and finding out you are just wasting time find accuracy of direction now amen. let's finish the scripture and satisfy your soul in famine and make fat your bones that thou shalt be like a, well, a watered garden like a spring of waters whose waters fail not I prophesy supplies to your life in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm 86 and verse 17 give us an amplified please Psalm 86 and verse 17 86 17 he said, show me a sign of your evident goodwill and favor that those who hate me may sit and be put to shame. Listen, 
He said, because you, Lord, will show your approval of me when you help and comfort me. He says, show me a sign. The sign that God needs to show in your life to bring to an end the shame and the mockery. May God show that sign this week. May God show that sign this week. May my God show that sign this week in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, they looked at Elisha and they were wondering, could this be the person to succeed Elisha? He did not look like it. But when a sign came upon him, the Bible says he turned the sign was to part Jordan and when he said where is the Lord God of Elijah and Jordan parted hither and thither the prophet saw and they said truly the spirit of Elijah don't rest upon Elijah I don't know what sign God needs to show in your life to let everyone know that finally favor has landed to let everyone know that finally speed has landed but I say again this week may God show that sign this week may my God show that sign in the name of Jesus Christ Psalm Isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 4 Isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 and verse 4 do we have that projected it says since thou was precious in my sight thou hast been honorable and I have loved thee therefore will I give men for thee and people for your life listen do you know what this means listen to my message the gift of men you are as wealthy as the men God bring in your life you are not just as wealthy as the things when you have things you are limited things cannot love you things cannot be there for you when God really wants to help a man he gives that man men let me speak over someone you have things but you lack men I pray for you men that includes help us men that includes comfort us men that includes financiers men that includes prophetic people to speak this week may God bring quality men to show up in your life may God bring quality men to show up in your life in the name of Jesus finally numbers chapter 6 from verse 24 numbers 26 24 the Lord bless thee Ah, you didn't hear that the Lord bless thee the Lord bless thee the Lord keep thee listen do you know what it means for God to keep you have to make reference to John 17 and verse 1. He says, he came to him and he said, glorify now thy son, that thy son may bring glory to you. When you read down to verse 6, it says, all that you have given me, I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition. He says, look for it, I see it's somewhere there, John 17. All that you have given me, I have kept, he says, and none is lost except the son of perdition. And that's that the scripture might be fulfilled. He said, but, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day so when he says the Lord keep you it means that you are engraved in the palm of his hands beyond the reach of curses beyond the reach of all kinds of demonic things now that you understand let me say it again the Lord keep you the Lord keep you 25 the Lord make his face to shine upon you listen do you know what this means every time you hear the face of God shining upon a man that is favor you find that in the life of Moses you find that in Psalm 44 and verse 3 give it to us very quickly for they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance that is how they became possessors. So when he says, may he make his face shine upon you, it's another way of saying, may you be covered completely with the favor of God. I pray for you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 26. 
May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The last blessing right here is something money cannot buy. Hear me. The last blessing right here is something education cannot buy. The last blessing right here is something your intellectual pedigree cannot buy. The Bible says, and give thee. It's a gift. If you are not given, you cannot have it. And give thee peace. Listen, I've told you, my highest definition of success is not progress, is peace. No matter what else you have in your life, if it is at the expense of your peace, it was not worth it. No wonder Jesus himself is called the Prince of Peace. He says, peace I give you. My peace I live with you, not as the world gives. There is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding. I'm praying for you in this troubled world, in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people, saddled with fear, saddled with all kinds of, um, all kinds of things. May the peace of God be given to you this night. May the peace of God be given to you this night. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Where you have been crawling, I place an anointing upon you. Begin to fly like the eagles. Begin to fly like the eagles. Hear me. Whatever has covered your glory, covered your visibility, so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor God in your life cannot find you. In the name of Jesus, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. Find visibility. Find visibility. Find visibility. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Why have you been here 38 years? I have no man to help me. Not that the water cannot be reached. I have no man. Where is somebody who is in need of one man? One man who becomes a helper to say, what is your issue? Oh, a job? See me tomorrow. Where is the one man who is saying, what is your issue? Oh, a visa? Come and see me next week. I pray for you. The one man sent by God to be a destiny helper to your life in this season. Wherever they are, I gravitate them towards your destiny. <laughs> Hallelujah. Three more prayer points. Everything that has died in your life, chiefest among them your prayer life and your passion for God. Perhaps you came here and it looks like everything God is dying or has died in your life. Because you see, when prayer dies, your passion for God dies, your passion for the word dies, eventually every other thing begins to die. That is the central point of victory in your life. Your relationship with Jesus enhanced by your prayer, enhanced by your word study, enhanced by your passion for the house of God, your submission to doctrine and learning. Let me pray for you tonight. Jesus is called the resurrection and the life. Everything dead, everything dying. In the name of Jesus, I use the words of Jesus, Talitha Kumi, it, although it was for a little girl, but I pray for every situation that has died, let it come back to life now. Let it come back to life now. Let it come back to life now. Dead prayer life, come forth. Dead word study life, come forth. Dead passion for the things of God, come forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your finances? Will it mean anything to you if you experience a higher level of the blessing of the Lord on that wise? You need money let me tell you period it's as simple as that there is no other way around it money is not everything but as far as the matters of economy is concerned you will be surprised how crippled your life will be are we together now the person who is sick cannot reach the hospital but the person who is poor everything you need is around you but the wherewithal to make it yours that is even more disastrous if you bring something for a sick person to eat, the person may not have the energy. 
So it's not an issue of is that the appetite is not there. But a poor man will pass every shop available, everything available, but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there. And remember, when we talk about finances, I will emphasize again that this is not some mundane, carnal quest for materialism. But let me tell you, I'm a responsible man of God, and I believe in responsible Christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of God. Anyone who tells you to downplay the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you. Are we together? The name of Jesus Christ is very heavy. It takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see. The needs that surround your life, most of us here, if we were to read your prayer request, over 70 to 80% of them will largely be dependent on finances. Finance is very important because it can solve so many things. Cannot give you peace, but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace. Let me tell you, one of the reasons, one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what be, If you are owing Caesar, doesn't matter your relationship with God. As far as Caesar is concerned, the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you. When Jesus was ministering, they came and said, you claim to be a man teaching righteousness, yet you are owing the law. So you must know how to give to Caesar what belongs. Jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to Caesar. I want to pray for you. The kind of Christian experience where you love Jesus Christ, but then you are being incapacitated economically. I've told you that many people, because of this economic backwardness, it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise. God can bless you, so bless you, eh, that you solve your financial problems. It does not become a concern again. Your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of God. Thinking about money day and night is idolatry. It's a curse. It was never supposed to be that way. There is nobody, an intelligent God will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about, that worry, is a kind of worship. Are we together? It says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable. Many believers love the Lord, but this finance thing, especially within the, you know, you do not want to compromise your faith, but then it must finance, listen, until you know how to force finance to answer especially co-laborers those who are in ministry here listen to me in all you're getting trust god for grace to sort this money thing once and for all this is not an issue of pride this is this is until that is solved i guarantee you there is a, a man a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned are we together the absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise, even in our world today. Many people who love the Lord are forced to bend over and compromise. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus, it says, having obtained help from the Lord, I continue to this day. I pray for someone. The dimension of wealth you have not seen. I call upon my God, the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind. May my God surprise you. 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 Open up strange financial gates for you. Connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of Jesus Christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources will not be at the expense of your relationship with Jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of God with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread. You don't need my prayer for that to happen. Just be valuable. I'm praying for you to become a trustee. A trustee of the wealth of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. And thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. A man can be helped by God. May that be your portion. Amen. Now, finally, you have honored me. You have prayed for me. 
I have I understand there are many prayer groups that have prayed prayed and fasted for days just lifting me before the Lord whatever gift you give me is there's there's only so much I can do but that prayer you have prayed for me I just want to speak one prayer from my heart one prayer from my heart and you care to receive it I want to pr I'm going to pray for you no no you don't have to kneel please stand but it is from the depth of my heart every man has a covenant with God there are secrets that make for the rising of men there are things God is always telling us in every season and when he sends a word to Jacob he lights it upon Israel I truly want to pray that one prayer with that we'll wrap up the service but I want you to receive it if this is the only reason why you have come here tonight your coming will be worth it if you do receive this hallelujah can I pray that prayer for you father there is a grace called favor you have helped me, you have made me to become an, an expression of your favor. That it is true, you can pick a man and place that grace upon him. My Bible says, and Jesus increased in wisdom, stature, favor with God and with men. You have helped me. In the name of Jesus, from the abundance of that which God has given, I stretch my hands on this day to as many who will care to receive from tonight, carry that grace evidently. Yes. 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 Carry that grace evidently. Carry that grace evidently. Number two. God can empower you to walk signs and wonders, but he can make you a sign and a wonder. He says, I and the children that the Lord has given me, he didn't say we will produce, he said we are, that your life becomes a living epistle. I'm praying for you. The grace that makes ordinary men to become global phenomenons, the, 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 the grace that can make an ordinary man to become a sign and a wonder wherever you are, I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. Let the nations hear your voice. Let the nations see the hand of God upon your life. I impart that grace upon you. Carry that grace evidently. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I want to release that grace for honor. You see, it takes honor for a generation to listen to you. It takes honor for a generation to, to, to acknowledge the hand of God upon your life. Joshua was full of the spirit already, but he told Moses, take some of your honor and place upon him so that the children of Israel will hearken to him. Being skillful and gifted is wonderful, but that is not enough to command the attention of a generation. Being honest and a person of integrity is not enough. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for someone tonight. May this mantle of honor that can cause all and sundry to acknowledge God in your life and to reward you as matching your true worth, may that grace rest upon you. May that grace rest upon you. So shall it be in Jesus name now just one instruction everyone please listen um, thank you for all of you who made so many cakes I decided to pack all those cakes to bring it here not everybody can have a piece but at let's focus on our children first hallelujah so all my little children little take note of the word little all my little children you have a piece of this cake as many as can go around when they are done then maybe some other people so make sure you have it take it as communion that God will bless you please parents do allow your children to just pick a piece the welfare would be glad to communicate it to them and then they'll be on their way going um, I'm told that some of you may have come with gifts now my I sincerely appreciate you but we may not all have all the time to receive it personally please know that I do not take you for granted you can meet the PR. They have made a provision 
for as many of you, maybe a gift or whatever, you can drop it with them. They are people of integrity. You can be sure that they will be, they will be glad to communicate it. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, please be seated for one more minute. You are here, and the greatest honor I can give the Lord tonight is to present a soul in addition to all that has happened. You are in this place tonight, and whilst you heard me speak, the Holy Ghost began to convict you. And you are saying, Apostle, I know time is fast spent, but give me an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. Two calls in one. Perhaps you are here and you've given Jesus Christ your heart truly. But as it is, your life has gone haywire and you need restoration. Wherever you are, please give me the honor to lead you to Jesus one last time before we leave. Leave your seat as I count one to five. And please make your way very boldly and confidently. Thank you. They are coming already. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? The greatest miracle for this night. Come. The hymn writer says, Must I go and empty-handed? Must I meet my Savior's soul? He says, Not one soul which wish to greet him. Must I empty-handed go? Come. Come. God bless you. Jesus has given you a new beginning. No matter how it's been, I promise you that he's able to give you a new beginning. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Come very boldly to the throne of grace that you will obtain mercy and find help in time of need. If you're coming, please make it quickly. I want to pray right now. Those who are following online, all the overflows, here's your chance to make Jesus Lord of your life. Thank you so much for those of you who have come out indicating your interest to start a fresh relationship with Jesus. Can you lift your right hand, please, above your head as a sign of surrender? And say this after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I make Jesus lord of my life and i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb amen keep your hands lifted father thank you for these precious ones by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare that based on the integrity of scripture your sins are forgiven i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god the power of sin satan hell and the grave is hereby broken over your life in the name of jesus eternal life is imparted to your spirit and from tonight i call you the righteousness of god in christ jesus you go forward ever and hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.